Yes, very good evening, students. Today we are going to discuss in hydrox derivative. Uh, we are we are in uh, studying about uh, ethylene alcohol. That is, that means in dihydric alcohol, isn't it? A dihydric alcohol contains two OH group. That means CH two OH, CH two OH. So it contains two primary alcohol. So when ethylene alcohol contains two primary alcohol, now replacement of acid hydrogen. How we are going to remove the hydrogen atom? Okay. So Ethylene glycol reacts with sodium. Ethylene glycol, what's the formula? CH2OH and CH2OH, namely ethylene glycol. This ethylene glycol, we are going to heat, we are going to react with sodium atom at 323 Kelvin. 323 Kelvin. Now, you know very well, ethylene glycol contains two primary alcohol groups. This is one primary alcohol, this is another primary alcohol. So, initially, one of the primary alcohol is removed. That means one hydrogen atom after this hydrogen atom is removed by the sodium. By sodium. So you will get respective product namely CH2ONA CH2OH monosodium glycolate. How many sodium is there? Only one sodium. So name is what? Monosodium glycolate. monosodium glycolate followed by again sodium. Now we are going to increase the heat from 323 to 433 Kelvin. How much? 433 Kelvin. Initially we heated only 323 Kelvin. Now we increase from 323 Kelvin to 433 Kelvin. Now one more this acid hydrogen also replaced by sodium atom <coughs> so that we will get disodium glycolate formula CH2ONA bond CH2ONA namely disodium glycolate okay, it is nothing but what replacement of acidic hydrogen this acidic hydrogen initially we removed one acidic hydrogen finally when I increasing the temperature then again we are going to add extra sodium atom we can remove two sodium atoms then the reactions of OH group is replaced. That means reacts with maybe mineral acids or aromatic acid. The first one is ethylene glycol reacts with hydrochloric acid. That means ethylene glycol reacts with hydrochloric acid. So the formula for ethylene glycol CH2OH bond CH2OH reacts with mineral acid namely hydrochloric acid. Now without heat also how much at 433 Kelvin heat at 433 Kelvin. Now removal of water removal of water. So in that place we are going to we are going to write what CL will come here removal of to remaining is Cl. So you can write like this CH2Cl remaining is CH2OH. Again, because one more acidic hydrogen is there. So you are going to remove that OH also. So that again HCl, but you are going to heat 473 Kelvin. Again, you are going to add HCl at how much Kelvin? 473 Kelvin. You are going to increase 40 Kelvin. Increase from 433 to 473 Kelvin. Now again this water molecule is removed. So that in that place we are going to add on Cl. So namely CH2Cl bond CH2Cl. CH2Cl bond CH2Cl. What is the name of the compound? Ethylene dichloride. What is the name of the compound? Ethylene dichloride is the compound. This ethylene dichloride. Now we removed which group? What <coughs> group? Initially, we took a ethylene glycol, reacts with mineral acid like HCl at 433 Kelvin, removal of one OH group from here is one H, removal of water, the seal is ordered here, monochloroethylene glycol. Now, again, order HCl, removal of water molecule, one more CL also ordered, added, so namely ethylene dichloride. Okay, this name is what? Ethylene, ethylene chlorohydrine. Ethylene glycol, ethylene chlorohydrine, here is ethylene. Dichloride is the product. Okay. Again, we are going to nitric acid. Nitric acid means 
Okay, ethylene glycol formula CH2OH bond CH2OH. What is the formula for nitric acid? HNO3. HNO3. For replacement purpose, I am going to write like this HONO2. HONO2. I am going to write, take two molecules of nitric acid. Two molecules of nitric acid. For replacing purpose, it is easy to understand. I am going to write like this. Two nitric acid, no? So, HONO2. Anyway, HNO3. One more HNO3. Okay. Why? Easy to understand. Okay. So, now that reaction takes place in the presence of sulfuric acid. And the symbol indicate what? You are going to heat. Now, now OH plus H removal of water. OH and H removal of water. So, what is the remaining thing? CH2. O N O 2 bond CH 2 O N O 2. What is remaining? Plus 2 H 2 is removed. 2 H 2 is removed. Namely, ethylene dinitrate. What is the formula? What is the name of the compound? Ethylene dinitrate. Ethylene dinitrate is the product. Okay. Very same thing you can add for acidic acid also. Acidic acid mean you will get the respective monoacetate. Monoacetate. So, ethylene glycol, one of the alcohol reacts with acid. Automatically the product is what? Yes, sir. Because alcohols are reacts with acid. In the presence of acid medium, it gives yes, sir, the product. Now, glycol. Glycol mean CH2. OH CH2 OH This is nothing but what? Ethylene glycol. These are what? Will come under the chemical properties. Okay, CH2 OH is bond. CH2 OH is ethylene glycol. Reacts with acetic acid. Formula for acetic acid is CH3COOH. Reaction takes place in the process of acidic medium. Now, removal of water molecule. Removal of water molecule. One watch from here, H from here. Removal of water. What is remaining? CH2, O, CO, CH3. Remaining is CH2OH. Followed by again acetic acid in the process of acid medium. Again. Acetic acid in the presence of acid medium. Now again OH, CH, removal of water molecule. So what is the final product? CH2, O, C, O, CH3. Here is CH2, O, C, O, CH3. CH2, O, C, O, CH3, CH2, O, C, O, CH3. Namely, glycol diacetate. This is one acetate. Said one more acetate. So namely, glycol Diacetate is the product. Glycol diacetate. <coughs> okay. So, ethylene glycol reacts with acetic acid in the presence of acid medium. Removal of water molecule remaining is glycol monoacetate. Again, reacts with acetic acid in the presence of acid medium. It gives what? Glycol diacetate is the product. The next one is very important. Three more question. How to prepare terylene or dacron or terene? Okay. Preparation of terylene. Ethylene glycol reacts with terephthalic acid. Ethylene glycol reacts with terephthalic acid. The preparation of terylene. Very important three mark question. Ethylene glycol is so one of the polymerization reactions. Ethylene glycol means CH2OH bond CH2OH. So, number of times. So, polymerization means n times. Ethylene glycol. And terephthalic acid means one benzene ring containing two carboxylic acid group. COOH, COOH. How many times? n times. Okay, because polymerization reaction. Now, what now? Removal of water molecule. Removal of water molecule. Okay, very same thing. Here is removal of water molecule. Both say removal of water. Okay. OH and H. Removal of water molecule. The remaining is 
Kerlin. So how to write the many product is CH2 bond CH2 O CO CO Oh, no problem. This is finally, I am going to write n times. Finally, how, much, how many times will come? n times. Name of the compound is what? Terylene. Name of the compound is what? Terylene. Okay. okay. Now, n times ethylene glycol reacts with is nothing but what? Ethylene glycol. This is terephthalic acid. Terephthalic, terephthalic acid. Okay. Ethylene glycol reacts with terephthalic acid. It gives what? Terylene or terine. Terylene or terine or dacron. Both are same, same answer, same thing. Terylene or terine or dacron. Very important three mark question. So one of the polymerization reaction. Next one is. Reaction with phosphorus halide. Reaction with ethylene glycol. React with phosphorus halide. How it will react? Ethylene glycol reacts with PCl5. Ethylene glycol formula CH2OH. Here CH2OH. Reacts with PCl5. PCl5 means here you can write like this for Cl here. Then PCL3, then CL. So nothing but what? PCL5. Okay. Now it gives what? Removal of NaCl, removal of POCl3, then CL will add here. So you can write like this CH2Cl remaining is CH2OH. CH2Cl, CH2OH. Again followed by, again you are going to add PCL5 so that you can write like this PCL3, CL, CL. Removal of HCl, removal of POCl3, the Cl will add here. So you will get CH2Cl, CH2Cl, namely ethylene dichloride. What's the product name? Ethylene dichloride. Ethylene dichloride is the product. Very same thing you can do, you can add for bromine also. Bromine means you are going to, you will get bromide product, namely CH2OH bond, CH2OH, you are going to add phosphorus tribromide, phosphorus tribromide. Now, initially one more which is removed by BR, so namely CH2BR bond CH2OH, again you are going to add phosphorus tribromide. This was also removed by BR, so you will get ethylene dibromide, namely formula CH2BR bond CH2BR, namely ethylene dibromide, ethylene dibromide. Okay, see here, ethylene glycol reacts with phosphorus pentachloride, you will get ethylene, this one is ethylene chlorohydrine, then ethylene dichloride. See here, ethylene glycol reacts with phosphorus tribromide, you will get ethylene bromohydrin followed by diethylene bromide as a product. Okay, ethylene bromide is the product. Then, ethylene glycol reacts with phosphorus triiodide. Phosphorus triiodide, this is very important three mark question. How to convert, how to convert ethylene glycol to ethylene? How to convert ethylene glycol to ethylene? Ethylene glycol reacts with phosphorus triiodide. So, ethylene glycol means CH2OH bond CH2OH reacts with phosphorus triiodide PI3. Okay, phosphorus triiodide triiodide. Now, this OH group and this OH groups are converted into iodine. So, what is the formula? CH2I bond CH2I. It is an unstable compound. Why is it unstable? Can you give me the reason? This is unstable, I am telling. Why is it unstable? Think about iodine. Think about 17th group. What is 17th group? Halogen group. First one is what? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Iodine is bottom. Okay. Dropmost is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. So, in the periodic table, going down the way, 
the atomic size will increase as atomic size increases mean in the 17th group fluorine fluorine bromine iodine it is not the smallest one i is such a biggest one so see here two bulk two bulkier atoms present in the same side so what will form i told that one bus uh, one story no bus seat in a bus seat how many members can travel easily two ordinary bands two bulkier men cannot travel comfortably in the same seat isn't it so what will, what what effect will form this is a much steric effect see but what steric hindrance or steric effect that directly will you know okay so here no form is it is directly will be steric effect so this is a unstable so finally what will happen this bond will go here to make a removal of iodine this bond will come and join here to make a double bond ch2 double bond ch2 namely ethylene namely ethylene this is a very important question how to convert ethylene glycol to ethylene okay